it is a very light makeup day today but hello we are doing my project pan update i am going to go through everything that i used up this month everything that i have progress on we're adding a couple things in I have been killing it and that's all I have to say. Coming up this week is going to be Beducated and then I also have got my progress on my goals video. So lots of fun stuff coming. Stay tuned and let's jump into this video. So if you didn't see my empties video, I will link that down below. I used up a ton of makeup, but I didn't show any of the products that I used up. Okay, so the first thing that I used up was the Clinique Black Honey. This is where we were before. I had this in my bathroom. I carried it with me anytime I went out. Before I left the house, if I was leaving it here I would put it on this got so much use I literally it broke off at the end but I was taking like a brush and putting it on like I destroyed this would not get it again but I'm pretty sure that was just a sample or it came in like one of those lip kits from Sephora then I used up the dragon beauty can we just talk about how we were right here okay right here and now like you can literally it's so clear you might be able to see this swatch here it's just like a clear gloss with some glitter it's pretty i would not buy from this brand again at least not lip glosses because these are a pain in my actual asshole to store and then i used up a perfume this is the seven virtues fragrance in um vanilla woods they've repackaged a lot of their sample sizes so you can get it as a spritz bottle which i think is so much smarter they also just came out with one that's like a coconut vanilla scent i saw while i was stalking sephora yesterday so i'm adding that to the list of things that i want to try next time i'm around a sephora this is one that i probably wouldn't purchase again it's beautiful it's a really warm like easy to wear vanilla scent it's super inviting it's just a little too like eh for me let's get into the progress okay i'll put pictures over here so you can see the progress of everything but this is the illa masca powder foundation this is very light for me right now especially using tanning drops and stuff on my face so i really only have been using this lately to set my under eyes with a powder puff but there's still been some really really good progress so this is where we are now lots more pan it is quite thin the thing with this powder is like it is the softest of all time so the kickback is insane which is why I've been using a powder puff and even just by pressing into this powder you still get fallout so yeah I don't I would love to use this up this month I might just like switch to a brush and like fallout be damned because there is no chance I'm going to be able to use this in April there's just none because I'm going to Vegas I'm going to Europe like there will be color in my face for the first time in months and this it will not be able to like work with that that's a goal use that up then we've got this Natasha Denona blush duo I am trying to use up completely this side and you guys I hit pan in it because I've been using it as an eyeshadow too <sighs> the progress it is quite deep but I was like I'm just gonna focus on this little spot and I've been using it in my crease you cannot tell today because this is the most bare makeup I have done in months. It just really adds like such a nice, you're not dead to the world effect, which we love to see. It's just so pretty. It's so like, did you see how that livened up my face? It's so pretty. The bronzer, you really have to look at the pictures to see if there's any sort of change here because um, <laughs> I can't notice any. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantric. I don't know like I'll see what the picture is last time the like imprinted lines were like more spread out this time I don't know see for yourself is there any change will there ever be any change probably not sticking with the Marc Jacobs we have got the Marc Jacobs undercover blur Fection primer and here's where we're at before it was like full there was all this air there was really no progress marks look at that look at that all right i have been freaking using this every single day it's not great for my oily skin which is why i would like to use it up before the summertime when my skin is like a little bit more oily because of the heat and all the humidity and stuff but this is really nice for covering pores so this is also one i would love to use up this month and i'm sure i could because there's definitely still air in here this dermalact revitalite eyelid and dark circle corrector this is such a nice eye cream we've also finally got some progress here an air bubble came out which we love to see there's definitely still some in here but this is just like a metal tip it's always chilly you apply it under your eye on your lid like kind of everywhere before makeup and there's just blush all over my fingers and 
everything goes on so smooth, everything. Like I haven't had cakey powdery looking under eyes since I started using this and I love that for me because I do wear more like high coverage foundations if I'm going out at night or something and this really saves that. Perfumes, this one has absolutely no progress on it, the Marc Jacobs Daisy. I might actually just give this off to a friend who loves some Marc Jacobs perfumes because this to me just doesn't work super well with my skin chemistry. This clean fragrance, this is clean skin. This I have used quite a bit of. So you'll see in the pictures, but we started here and then here and now we're down here. I've been using this quite a lot. I put like just a tiny drop on either side of my neck and I smell like this all day. It is beautiful. It's super unique. Like the way that it melds with everyone's different skin chemistry is beautiful. So this is one that I can see myself using a lot more of because I really was focusing on the vanilla woods. Like I used up a lot of that this month. So without having that to focus on, I might be able to use this up. And if I don't, I would not be too butthurt about it because this is one that I will purchase like a mini rollerball or something of when it's done because it is so pretty. Other fragrances, we have got this Zara Deep Garden. I used to have a lot of this too. We are down here. You can see in the pictures all of the progress. This is one that I would also like to use up this month. If I can get both of those out, I would be very pleased. I could actually add in some new fragrances because I don't want to add anything new for perfumes in this month while I still have these to get out. But if I use even one of these two up, I'm good, baby. We are gonna roll in some new ones and those are gonna be travel fragrances for Vegas and for Europe. So we gotta make sure that we like them. And then I do still have this Gucci Flora little uh, coffette, but I, it's opaque, I can't see. I've used this literally once. So also something that we can work on now more than before because I'm not having like four perfumes to work on. Let's do lips. So the first one with the most progress is this Anastasia Bella lip gloss. That was actually the rudest thing that's ever happened. So this is where we are at now. I will be done this within the next week and I will be rolling in other glosses. You'll see in a sec. I have no idea. I've used this twice. This is the um, Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick. It hasn't changed scent yet. It's in the shade Sand. I use this as a mixer for things that are a little too dark. But again, I haven't been wearing a ton of like full coverage makeup lately, so I haven't been using a liquid lipstick. I don't, I don't think that this is something that I'm gonna keep in the project. I might go ahead and roll this one out just because it's just not the time. It's not the time. Maybe I'll wear this more in the summer. I have another mixing product here. It is the Lawless Platinum Lipstick. I didn't use this a ton this month, but I definitely used it more than I used the Dose of Colors. You can see hopefully in the pictures a little bit of progress and I don't know guys, lots to go, but this is a great mixer for anything that's dark at all. Okay, let's add in new products. First of all, I figured this would be kind of fun. A Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in perversion because I don't have any liquid eyeliner right now. So this is kind of what I'm using. It does need a sharpen. I wanna use all of this up because I have so many eyeliners that I don't use and I wanna start rolling them out. And then we've got the MAC. Oyster Girl Lip Gloss. I think this was in a project before, like last year, but this is where we're starting out. Um, I actually lost this and then the lovely woman who came to clean my house earlier in the month just like set it on the coffee table because it was buried deep behind the crevices of the couch. And um, we appreciate her for God's work in that. It's a really pretty kind of like duochrome gloss, a little bit stickier, very light pink. I think that this would be very, very pretty for Vegas. I also have got the Nude Sticks Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Nude 05. So I like the texture of this one. I like also that it's not a squeezy tube, but it comes in a squeezy tube. And it's just really, really pretty. Like a super simple rosy kind of gloss to wear. This I think I'm gonna put into my car because this is gonna be the easiest thing to just throw on my lips when I'm out driving. And then the last thing I wanna use up is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in the shade Medium 4.5. So I tried this out and I was like giving into the hype. I want to use this up and then I want to get the e.l.f. one because this, even as a sample size, was very pricey. It's very pretty though. You put this on under your foundation and I, again, use like a heavier coverage matte foundation because I have very oily skin. So this just kind of takes away some of the cakiness and it leaves like a glow that isn't oily. Also a lovely, like very subtle highlight, not like a 2016 highlight. It's pretty, I really enjoy it, but it is also one that's like, 
I don't use it unless I'm kind of like forcing myself to use it or I'm having a night out, but it's like, it's so nice. I just need to use it. So specifically things I want to have used up before the next update, this Zara Deep Garden perfume. It's a really pretty floral, but it is something that like, I'm kind of getting tired of. Like when I wear it, it's pretty, I enjoy it. It's not like a horrible smell. It's just not my favorite fragrance. And I have so many other ones that I'm like excited to use and I just want to get that out so I can focus on them. This Illamasqua powder I want to use up completely. I know that might seem like a lot, but like genuinely guys, you swipe it with a brush. Look at all of the stuff that comes off. Like it's such a light powder. Marc Jacobs coconut powder because, or primer, because I'm not going to be using this. Anastasia gloss, and then we'll just kind of see where we go from there. But that is it, friends. Let me know how you guys are doing on your projects. Let me know if there's anything exciting coming up for you in life. This month is going to be really fun for videos. I know I took some time off in February, but be back baby. We've got a Beducated video coming up. We've got the goals update coming up. We've also got a Fat Fit Fun unboxing coming up. There's a lot of fun, exciting stuff, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.